What's going on everyone? It's Brain with Coach of Fine Jewelry, your personal jeweler. In today's video, we're going to review Gucci Mane's half a million dollar new custom piece. Let's get started. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Jacoji Fine Jewelry. Visit my website www.jacoji.com and smash that like button. Smash, 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 smash. First things first is Gucci Mane is a legend in jewelry. I can't say anything wrong about any of his pieces because really there's nothing wrong with any of his pieces. They all work for him because he is him. With all that being said, we have to focus on this piece. Now, it's a very interesting piece. It's, for me, it's like a Cartier piece. Um, I'm not gonna say a knockoff piece because with 165 carats of diamonds, 2,800 diamonds that they were set, I mean, it's impressive. This piece is impressive as far as the raw materials that went into it, the detail on those leopard uh, faces are nice, the little drop of the diamonds are nice as well. Altogether, a very well put together piece. I'm impressed and I don't um, expect anything different when it comes to Gucci Mane because, you know, he is a jeweler legend. This guy has impressive pieces. All the pieces we've done with him are always A++ reviews. Now, when looking at the piece, when he was wearing it, the first thing that came to my mind um, was... I do a lot of traveling on the road. I stop at like trucker stations. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these truckers with like the Bluetooth, like uh, they're like the ear, the headphones, I guess you would call them, and they wear them around their neck. To me, when I first saw Gucci Mane, I'm like, that looks just like those like Bluetooth headphones that these guys wear because the fit on it is a little bit weird. Now, it's something different. And I'm sure by next year, everyone's gonna be doing this, this style chain. I don't even know what you would call it. I guess just a chain. Um, but it, the fit on it is a little odd to me. It kind of, it stands out and not in a good way, more just kind of in an awkward fit. Uh, no disrespect to the piece or the integrity of the piece, just the way he's wearing it. And only him can pull it off. Maybe Quavo or someone like that could pull that style of chain off. But to me, the fit is a little weird. Now, I might have just made a huge reach there. I don't know. You guys tell me, what do you think of the fit? Now, my whole thing with jewelry and why I do these videos is because you could spend a half a million dollars on a piece of jewelry and wear it wrong and it looks cheap. It doesn't look good. You could spend $5,000 on some gold chains and some little pieces and wear them perfect and it looks money. That's the whole trick of this whole thing and I think why people love my videos is because I break it down like that. Now, I'm not saying it's not a huge thing. It's just the only thing I notice about that piece. It just kind of looks funny on him. Maybe over time we'll get used to it or at least I'll get used to it and it'll look more natural, look good. I, I Like I said, I'm sure a lot of people will eventually be doing this, uh, but it's just a different look and it's refreshing. You know, not everyone wants to see the Jesus pieces or the little diamond tennis chokers or Cuban link chokers. We need some different things out there to talk about and look at and eventually kind of change our styles. That's just how it works. Now, a half a million dollars um, is probably the biggest reach of this whole reaching thing. That's a lot of money. I, I know 165 carats. I know 2,800 um, stones that were Pave set, and that's a lot of work, but half a million dollars. Like I said, in men's jewelry, when we're talking about smaller stones, that's hard to do. The only time you're gonna get to the half a million, the million dollar mark, is when you're using like the big one carat plus diamonds for everything, like Floyd Mayweather type chains. Um, Realistic number, since it's Gucci Mane, like there's a lot of negotiating power that you get when you work with um, any jeweler if you're Gucci Mane because they know you're going to spend money, they know you're going to advertise them. I would say around 300000 and that's still a lot of money, um, but that's probably the more realistic number for this piece, which is good. I mean, it looks good on him. It's just going to take a little getting used to, but overall, another A++++ piece for Gucci Mane. We'll see you guys on the next Gucci Mane review. That's it for today's video and we will see you on our next jewelry video.